So uh, the closing on if you had a thing again, that if somebody else believes that they can then all your together. Mm -hmm. What about back test the just constant shuffling of guys in and out and that and your ability to test the plan? Well, you know, the, the one thing is that these guys, are, are they understand what we're asking them to do, you know, so their, their ability to move the basketball, their ability to sit down and defend the right way. So no matter who we're putting out there, they're, they're coming in to do their job. Does that challenge at all the like kinds of sets you're able to call because they haven't played together? Or well, is it the same thing? Well, the great part about what we're doing is that, you know, we're trying to keep it simple regardless, you know, so no matter who comes in and what situation they're in, they understand what the, you know, what we're trying to accomplish. Now, mind you, in the situations like this at the end of games, you know, there's, there's some end of game situations that we look at differently, but the, to me, this group did a really good job of understanding the things that we were trying to accomplish. Go ahead, George. Start with Dan Savage, RolandoMagic.com. Coach, obviously with your, your group's shorthanded second night of a back-to-back -back going against one of the top teams in the East, you know, what, what were your thoughts, your team's effort to be hanging right there with the, the Bulls to the end? I was really happy the way we battled uh, till the end of the game. Uh, I think our guys did a great job of understanding, what, you know, necessarily our coverages, uh, offensively trying to move the ball, understanding how to, you know, exploit some of their defense. I think we did a really good job there. Um, but their ability to compete uh, for the entire 48 was, you know, what I'm, you know, most impressed with. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Jamal, I meant to ask you this uh, pregame, but has we, we, you were asked about the 10-day the guys, the hardship guys. Have a decision been made about those guys? Uh, I know a couple of them are coming up on the end of their 10 days, I think is what Hassani and, uh, and uh, uh, Freddie. Uh, we have not made a decision on those guys yet. Okay, and and then even uh, f following up on that one, we, we, we talked about the you know, you're closing out, moments you're, you're in games, out, especially after last night. You know, I guess what did you see differently or better? Kobe, you cut you, 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 you cut out the first part of the question. Can you repeat that? Can you hear me better now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, yeah, I was. At, we talked about closing moments, especially after last night, and you guys were in another tight game tonight. I guess what did you see differently, maybe better? Something you guys want to improve on in those moments? The past well, you know what days? I really liked is that you know down the stretch we made our free throws. That that was a, that's a big thing. As, and we talked about that as well this morning, and then our execution down. You know, down with something seconds left on the clock, we come down, we run a flip drag, T. Ross gets a foul, going to the free throw line, giving us the opportunity, fouling in the right situation. Uh, I think we're going to have, there's some things we're going to have to look at and improve on. But again, our guys are learning and understanding the same situations are going to continue to happen and we'll be prepared for them. Josh Cohen, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Coach, uh, you have the Bulls to just 34 points in the paint. Did you like your interior defense tonight? I, I did. I, I really did. I think our guys did a good job of, you know, protecting the rim, staying at the rim. You know, obviously they got they made some threes down the stretch, but for the most part, making them take the tough contested two, which they happened to make. DeRozan made a, a bunch. But again, our job at the rim, I think our guys did a really good job. Go ahead, Dan. Coach RJ got a lot of opportunity tonight and, and some opportunity in, in the closing moments. Uh, you know, what did you see at, at RJ tonight? Oof. I think the question was, what did you see out of RJ tonight, coach? Uh, just, you know, some decision making, uh, his ability to get the ball over the, you know, over the half court when we needed him to with some pace and some speed, his ability to, you know, sit down and guard in, in situations. So, you know, just continued improvement from him, recognizing being able to play in situations like this. Anything else for Coach Mosley? All right. Thank you, coach. Uh, we'll start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Wendell, obviously they're they're one of the, the the top teams in the East. What did you see out of your your group's effort? Uh, you know, especially considering shorthanded uh, and on the second night of a back to back. Um, you know, it, it, it was a great challenge for us. Uh, we played two of the most, uh, you know, offensively gifted teams in the league these past two games, and you know we 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 were challenged on the defensive end. I feel like we did a really good job. Um, you know, of course, you know, the, the Boston game, we want, we really wanted to walk away with a win there. Made a lot of late game decisions that weren't the best, but, um, you no, know, it's a growing process. And, you know, we, or at least I understand that, um, you know, it's, it, it doesn't all happen overnight. So I'm, I'm, I'm glad that we're in these games. Uh, so we kind of 
know, start to get used to, you know, playing late in games, going against some of the best teams in the league. Yeah, that's where we want to be, you know. So um, I feel like we did a really good job sticking to the game plan, especially tonight. Um, I feel like I, I feel like we can really grow off of this, even though it wasn't a W, and um, you know, just move on to the next game. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Wendell, I, what's the biggest thing that you think this team has learned in late game execution, late game situations over the past two days? Um, you know, when, when teams start to, you know, when I, I look at the Boston game and we were up late, um, you know, when teams try to turn up the pressure, I feel like we, we walked away from that game knowing that or learning that, we, you know, we had to play at our own pace, no matter if the team is trying to speed us up, no matter if, you know, they're, they're running, trapping, doing all those things. You know, uh, we can we can be patient, you know, and try to, you know, get get good shots, even though they're pressuring us a lot. You know, kind of what uh, Chicago did tonight. Demar did a really good job of that late game, even though we were trying to pressure up, he was flying around trying to trap, and he showed us. You know, he just stayed patient. He didn't get sped up at all, and um, I feel like that's something that we can take away from tonight's game. Um, so yeah, that's really about it. And with RJ, you know, he played big minutes tonight, played in the close, uh, helped close out the game for you guys. Because what have you seen? How have you seen him grow, especially the past week? As you know, he's been playing, you know, 27, 29, 32 minutes, I think, tonight. Um, you know, the sky's the limit for him. You know, he, he's he's one of those guys I, I really do care for. Someone I, I definitely grew to be um, kind of like my little brother in his, uh, in his league on his team. And, um, you know, I just try to help him out whenever I can. And he helps me out whenever he can whenever I'm having a problem. So I think tonight was a, a good opportunity for all of us to grow, especially for him. You know, he's going to, he's in his second year right now. So, uh, you know, I feel like um, these last two games, he's, he's played play really well, gave us some great minutes. Josh Cohen, OrlandoMagic.com. Hey, Wendell, it seemed like every time Chicago would create a little bit of separation, you guys would fight back and get and get back within either a possession or two. Did you like your team's resilience there late, especially in those final few minutes? Yeah, I mean, we we stick to the game plan throughout the whole game. You know, we knew that DeMar was going to get to his mid-range shots, and we understood that, you know, he does a really good job of getting to the free throw line from those shots, you know, pump fakes and, and things like that. But we did a really good job of staying down on, on most of his pump fakes. And living, living from the uh, with the, with his mid range shots, we know he makes a high value a high value of them. But uh, you know, we 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 just live and die by that. You know, we did a really good job of that. Even though he went on his little run, or he's you not know, making a lot of mid ranges, we understood that. You know, that's that's the game plan. You know, and uh, I feel like we stick to that to, throughout the whole game and gave ourselves a chance at the end. Go ahead, Dan. Wendell, we've, we've talked a lot about Franz this season, but the, the patience you see out of him and his, uh, you know, willingness not to force anything, you know, just what have you seen uh, Franz, especially as a young player in that regard? Um, he's going to be a stud in this league if he isn't one already. <laughs> uh, I feel like he's going to be, uh, he's going to be in this league for a very, very, very long time. Person who's able to play both ends of the court, be able to guard multiple positions, and uh, you can kind of put him anywhere on the offensive end. You know, I, I feel like he has a very, very high IQ for the game. And, um, you know, he just does a really good job of playing at his own pace. You know, he's not really sped up at all. And like you said, he doesn't force anything. You know, even when the when the going gets tough and they tar start to turn up the pressure, he didn't really get sped up, and he, especially in these last two games. Kobe Price. Uh, Wendell, once to go back to RJ real quick, uh, seems like especially the last week or so, he's making the reads as a passer are seeming to come more fluidly, quicker. He's making those reads, even more advanced reads, you know, cross-court passes, et cetera. I guess, have you seen the same thing? I guess, what have you seen him, I guess, the work he's put into that? Um, you, know, you know, even going back to training camp, even when we first got traded here, you know, I, I, I've I realized that he had a really high IQ, you know, when coming off of pick and rolls and things like that, being able to read where to pass the ball. He's always been pretty good at that. Um, and, uh, you know, the more that he played, that became, you know, part of his scout report. So, you know, he's he's uh, he, he just learned how to play the game. You know, he's so young, like he has so much room to grow. So I just know that, you know, he's going to he's going to get to that next level. And, um, you know, he's you no, know, he's still got plenty of time to grow. And I kind of tell him that every every day, like, 
man. Just continue to, you know, work on your craft. And, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for him, for sure. Thank you, Wendell. Uh, very young team developing together. What's it been like, not just as yourself, you know, a, a lottery pick, but also seeing some of the G League guys come up, Hassani, Admiral, and playing with them the last couple of weeks? Um, I mean, it's a lot of fun, honestly. Uh, although we're losing a couple of games in a row, um, you know, something that's hard to get a rhythm, but especially with so many guys out and new guys coming in. But I think, um, especially these last couple of weeks, um, it's still been a lot of fun. Um, guys coming in from the G League, um, super confident. I thought it was really impressive how locked in they were and how confident um, they were on the court. And um, yeah, it was really uh, a joy to play with them, honestly. And everybody, all the characters on the court, um, everybody on the team is so supportive of, of one another. And uh, we all just want to get better. Um, we understand that it takes time, but, um, you know, even with, with guys like Sonny and Sko and, and all the rest of the guys, they, they brought competitiveness and, and, and grit. And um, we definitely needed that, and they, they, they help us uh, a lot in those games. You mentioned, you know, even amid the losses, does it feel like you're all still growing together? Yeah, I mean, um, we understand that the, the main objective is to get better every day. Um, that should be the main objective for most teams, but, um, you know, that it takes time, and that we're a really young team, and um, they want to be good in, uh, in the long run and um, understand that it takes time, yeah. Go ahead, George. Uh, we'll start with Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Franz, obviously, you know, they're the top team in the East, uh, but you guys, even shorthanded second night of the back-to-back, -back, were, were right there till the end. You know, what did you like about your, your group's effort tonight against Chicago? Yeah, like you said, the effort, the energy, intensity, especially on the defensive end, uh, second night in a row where, um, at least in the first 48 minutes, we played really good defense um, and hold the team to... 100 and 102 points um, against a really good team tonight. So I think especially on that end, it's, it's really important for us. And um, yeah, that gives us a chance any night uh, in this league. And we got to understand it and, and keep putting the work in. Um, at the end of the day, we we don't play to, to lose just by five points. We, we want to win the game. So, yeah. Kobe Price, Orlando Sentinel. Hey, Franz, uh, you guys have played, you know, two really tight games back to back days. I guess what's the biggest lesson you, you've learned and I guess the biggest lesson, lesson you've seen the team learn uh, from these past two games? Um, I mean, uh, we looked at the film from last night and um, you know, a lot of stuff that we didn't do well, that I didn't do well personally in late game uh, situations, um, how that affected us, how we let the offense affect our defense and um, yeah, how we understand that there's still a lot of time um, with a couple of minutes left. So um, I think we did a lot of a lot of the stuff that we talked about this morning a lot better um, tonight. Uh, but like I said, we want to win the game. So go ahead, Kobe. Yeah, uh, and it's, I think it was it was either Wendell or uh, Jamal mentioned you guys getting sped up, especially at least yesterday compared to today. I guess. What can you, I guess, tangibly, what can be said or I guess what is, can be done to not, I guess, get sped up in those moments in crunch time when you're, you know, facing pressure, uh, defensive pressure against other teams? I mean, just just executing. Uh, we have a plan when, when teams try to press, um, you know, what we want to do and how we want to exploit that. And, um, it would have, yeah, not a great job uh, last night's game. Um, but I thought it was an even bigger problem that we let – let that affect um, how we played on, on defense and that, that led them back into the game. So, um, but yeah, I think just executing our plays and what we want to do. Go ahead, Dan. Franz, obviously you're one of the, the, the leading candidates for, for Rookie of the Month after your month of December. You know, what does it mean to you to be in that conversation and what would it mean to you to, to receive that honor? Um, it's really cool. Um, I hope it's cool for, for all the coaches that, that help us every day. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I want to win games. But um, it's cool to be to, rec to be recognized and uh, for all the work, but uh, a lot more work ahead. And um, yeah, it's big. A lot of a lot of people that, that are involved in and uh, how we work and how we get better every day. So um, yeah. 
Anything else for Franz? Thank you, Franz. Thank you.